Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to be working with uh, creating some GUI elements. So, if you're trying to make something for your game for your HUD or anything like that, I can show you a few techniques to uh, edit some of the layer settings to give it a nicer feel. If you're trying to make just uh, like text boxes, display boxes, uh, pretty much uh, anything, but we can just go over some basic stuff here. So we're going to create a new layer, and we'll make this a little bit darker than the background we're going to be using. But when you export, you're going to want to make this uh, transparent background, most likely. <coughs> but we can go in here and we can uh, grab different shapes if we want. Um, there's one for more uh, rounded edges, and then there's other shapes if you just uh, left click and hold down you can choose circles or yeah, polygon cr create your own uh, shape or anything like that but yeah since it's locked like this we want to go to we want to right click and go to rasterize layer and that'll just make it so we can edit it so so in the blending options all you have to do is click this little FX thing and bring it up but there's a lot of different things we can mess with in here. Uh, one being drop shadow, so it'll create a little shadow behind there. You can change uh, what posi position the uh, of the angle of the shadow. I'll just set it back. Oh. But yeah, uh, so for a darker shape, we'll probably want a, um, not inner shadow, but yeah, I'll, I guess I'll just explain everything. Inner shadow, creates a little shadow that goes towards the center. Outer shadow, if you want to make something glow, you can adjust these settings. You can adjust the spread. Um, opacity. And these are for like each of the options. Noise will make it have a bunch of noise. You can click here and you can adjust the uh, color of it. And you can use all these different uh, overlay effects like we were using um, before. But yeah, that's pretty much for all the settings. So they all act in a similar way. So inner glow, we'll probably bring this in a little bit and I'm going to change it to a probably a whitish color. Maybe we'll do a little bit of blue. Make it look bluish gray. And then we can do a uh, you want to use like bevel and emboss so this kind of <coughs> kind of makes it pop out and you can change it from smooth chisel which is like sharp triple chisel soft maybe we'll try this then yeah you can adjust the size to whatever you want depth you can crank that down or up I don't really use bevel uh, too much since I just use the other stuff so I'm probably not going to add this but you can adjust the opacity for the uh, for both those two. This it'll create like an uh, inner shadow you can change the color on that as well. Color overlay just lays a color over the entire thing so you could give it like a hint of a different color if you wanted to make it a little bit red whatever. And uh, we have gradients. Cool thing about gradients is you can make your own. So there's presets here for different ones. But if you want to have your own, you can just click on this timeline, click down here, and you can adjust it to whatever color you want. So if you want to make um, a certain range of colors and you can choose how well... Oh, I didn't want to do that. You can click on this little thing and adjust how much it fades from one or the other, or you can just leave it in the middle. So that's pretty much for gradients. I like to do an overlay sometimes. Um, I think it looked better like that. You can adjust this to fade it in. Now pattern overlay. Now you can customize your own patterns 
or there's a bunch for free online if you just want to download them and drag them and drop them into a folder for your patterns and you can go here and load them up there's a there's a bunch of different ones that I have so it'll give it a different texture on there and these are really nice for when you're creating different GUI elements you can make it look like paper or different stuff like that there's different patterns um, a lot of them will be different colors and shapes such they're really nice when doing that especially if you have custom ones you can also get like custom brushes and stuff like that but I'll probably cover that in a different tutorial even though that's so simple it looks nice I think just a couple of dots you can scale up or down but yeah I think that's oh and stroke won't create a line around your object so sometimes I like putting that in. I like not making it as dark. Maybe a little bit lighter. But yeah, so if you wanted to create something like that and you just take off the background and you could save this as a PNG and import it into your game. I guess we could do some uh, other stuff. So, oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys one other thing. So this time I guess we'll create a rectangle. We will rasterize that. If you want to click on an object and it's got a bunch of nice settings you want, you can do copy layer style and click on your other object and click paste layer style and it'll paste right on top of there. And you can go in and uh, edit these things. Maybe I don't like that pattern, how it laid out on that one. So you can just disable that pattern if you want. You can go in here and adjust the different settings. Maybe that looks cooler. Maybe you want that to be less of that color, more. Yep, stuff like that. So, yeah, maybe I'll cover some more GUI stuff later and on actually how to make uh, more cool looking GUI stuff. Maybe if we were creating like a player uh, inventory system or or a pop-up for displaying stats or anything simple like that we can go over, but pretty, pretty much these tutorials are just uh, the basics right now on how to do and use a lot of the stuff here. So, 